Elsie, and today I'm going to do a book review on the book Nancy Drew Diaries: Mystery of the Midnight Rider by Caroline Keene. Nancy Drew Diaries is a series. Mystery of the Midnight Rider is the third book of the Nancy Drew Diaries series. Nancy Drew is the main character of this book. This is Nancy Drew. She's a detective. She has two best friends named Bass. Oops. This is Bass. And George. This is George. George is a girl, even though her name sounds like a boy's name. George is also not her real name. <laughs> if you want to find out what her real name is, you can read this book. Now that you know a little about Nancy Drew, I can tell you what happened in this story. In the story, so they're in a barn where they all have these training lessons for riders. That's why I do these horses poking their heads out of their stalls and the straw on the ground. <laughs> Nancy Drew's boyfriend named Ned has a close friend named Peyton coming to River Heights. River Heights is where Nancy Drew and her friends live. She's going to ride in the Grand Prix. Whoa! The Grand Prix is like a big horse competition. And people are even talking about Peyton being in the Olympics team. She is a must be a very good rider. Wow. I can hardly even ride a little pony. <laughs> She's going to ride a beautiful horse named Midnight. Isn't he pretty? Well, horses are not my specialty. <laughs> but before the show can even start, bad things start to happen. For example, Min is tested positive for drugs. Okay, you might think positive is good. Negative is bad. But in this case, when they're testing out midnight, positive means there's something wrong inside his body. Uh-oh. Other things point to Peyton. So when Nancy Drew and her friends go la la la, exploring on the farm, la la la, they soon find out that Peyton's saddle has been sliced to a million pieces. That was a mean thing for someone to do, all right. Other things do not point to Peyton or Midnight. Other things just point to the barn. The horses are let loose from the barn. Oh no, someone sure is up to no good. <laughs> Nancy Drew goes trailing suspects and looking for clues. But this case is very tough. When Nancy Drew latches onto one suspect thinking that person is the culprit, there's new information that goes to the suspect and then it makes it less likely to be the culprit. Oh no, it's a very tough case, all right. If do you want to know if Nancy Drew can solve this tough case, you can definitely find out by reading this book. I love this book and I love Nancy Drew. I love that she's brave and smart. She always finds a solution to a problem, even in tough situations. So I recommend you to read this book if you like mysteries and detectives. It's done for today. Thank you for